black holes, you think of them as being like a void, like a space vacuum. But actually, from their surroundings, they emit light of all frequencies. It shines brighter than the stars. But not only that, each set of frequencies is a bit like a set of, of notes. We wanted to tell this story, and music can take you places. Black Hole Symphony is this immersive experience that we've created with immersive visuals in a planetarium, with music, symphonic music, uh, driven by the science. My name's David Ibbett. I'm a composer and a visiting professor at Berklee College of Music and Worcester Polytechnic Institute. So that was the Taurus theme, and it's built around just these four notes. And those originate in this larger shape called the black hole chord. It turns out that because of the immense gravity and friction, uh, black holes uh, shine with a light uh, brighter than the stars in their galaxy. It's just around the black hole, this famous uh, accretion disk. And there's this light in every frequency being emitted and it shines through the whole electromagnetic spectrum. Only a tiny slice of that is visible to the, the human eye. So as a composer, I start to think, well, if we can't see them, can we hear them? Um, our eyes got this very narrow range, one octave of light, uh, to use the musical term, we can see with the eye. We can hear about 10 octaves of sound, a much wider range. Here is the radio waves from the synchrotron radiation at the very bottom. The hydrogen from the stars. Here's our friend the Taurus in the middle. of light coming from the accretion disk. That gets played by the piccolo in the symphony, she's very agile. And then at the very top, x-rays. They say there's no sound in space, but I learned through this project that space itself uh, stretches and contracts uh, through uh, gravity. If you have big enough things moving, say two colliding black holes, um, space itself rings like a drum, to quote uh, Jan Levin there. And we think that black holes of all sizes uh, collide, and we wonder, you know, what, what would they sound like? So my friend Fabio Pacucci makes simulations of what would larger black holes colliding, uh, what would their gravitational waves look like? And you can see um, on the picture, they have this interesting shape. It almost looks like a sound if you've seen sound recorded. This is space itself resonating. So they start off very small fluctuations. <laughs> they emerge and send out this huge wave of energy. This is an orchestral piece, uh, so I wanted to see, could I get my string section to play that same melody? Uh, so here it is. See, I've got some other instruments. Following that melody up and down. I should take a moment to draw your attention to these trombones. 
These trombones are sliding up and down. The stretching and squeezing of space time. This is starting to sound a bit like a dance. So I bring in a full percussion and drums and you can hear all together. The dance of the merging black holes. We get the uh, little symbols coming up, the uh, antique symbols playing the very high notes. The timpani and the gongs at the bottom. Pulling out the peaks and troughs. Ultimately, the merger, this ring down moment. The scientists said it's like blown glass gradually coalescing into this new black hole that's the sum of the two that collide. Releasing a jet of energy. Ultimately, this new structure emerges in space. I really hope that through seeing black holes simply, everyone can feel like they're part of the story of black holes.